How's it going everyone? So in this video, uh, we're continuing our HTTP Academy module uh, web requests and we're going to be doing the HTTP headers uh, question here in this section. Um, so let's scroll all the way down and go ahead and spawn your target system and then we can begin. So um, let me read the question for you. So it says the server above loads the flag after the page is loaded. Use the network tab in the browser DevTools to see what requests are made by the page and find the request to the flag. All right, so it looks like we just got to use the uh, DevTools here. Um, so if you go to your Kali Linux VM, uh, Firefox is uh, installed by default. So to get to the web developer tools, uh, just click the hamburger icon click more tools and then click web developer to web developer tools and for some reason it's so hard for me to pronounce web developer it's interesting uh, but anyways once you got that uh, loaded up uh, go ahead and navigate to the IP that you got when you spawn the target system so for me it's going to be HTTP then 161.35.174.253 colon 306 05. Go ahead and hit enter. And then you'll see the network tab populates with a whole bunch of stuff, right? So starting from the top, um, we can see some CSS files. Uh, we can see some image files. So that's kind of cool. We can see uh, JavaScript there. So if you keep on scrolling, right, um, you can, you'll notice that there's a file called flag underscore and then just a bunch of um, random letters uh, and numbers there. So, and this, it looks like it's a script, right? So if we click on this, right, we can view the header information. So um, it's the first tab that gets loaded. Um, so we can kind of scroll through here. We don't really see anything. Uh, so let's go to cookies. So we got nothing there. If we go to request, nothing there. Um, but response, look at the payload that we got. So here's our answer uh, right here for you guys. So um, yeah, so that was pretty easy. So we didn't have to like even use a command line or curl or anything. Just uh, get a browser, get the developer tools loaded up, and then um, go to the response for this one flag file here. So there you go. Um, hope you guys found this video uh, really helpful. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.